So now that the MSK Olympics is over, how would you describe your overall experience during the event? Uh, I'm amazed, actually. An adrenaline rush, really. Uh, and I was uh, really, really trembling. And that was quite an experience. And I think that a unique experience. The event was very nice, but it's a very interesting experience to uh, see how you compare to a lot of people from all over the world and uh, it was quite fun to do this on, with this speed Damocles sword that hangs over your head and you have to be very fast and it was very yeah. exciting actually. Yeah. I learned a few things for myself as well. Uh, speed has never been my strategy. <laughs> so trying to bring in the speed along with accuracy was something I was working on. Uh, my speed has definitely improved after doing your fellowship. So thanks to you. Actually, it's quite uh, the excellent and uh, exciting because uh, after many, many years, uh, the, uh, I was in uh, a competition competing with the uh, uh, high-level radiologists, especially in a subspecialty like uh, MSK. Very uh, interesting and fun a little bit to compare uh, the knowledge and speed with call international colleagues. I thought, yeah, it's a fun way to okay. spend an fun way to spend an <laughs> afternoon. So, like, I said, <laughs> like, let let me join in. Uh, my experience was very gratifying because I could uh, compete with another uh, radiologist from all the world and taste my abilities to be fast in the kitchen. It was really nice because uh, I was able to test myself uh, comparing to radiologists from all mm -hmm. over the world, so it was a unique experience, you know. Mm -hmm. That makes me a little bit nervous, <laughs> but it was a big, uh, a very good experience. Uh, it, it put you under, under stress. I did some strategic uh, uh, mistakes. Uh, I could have uh, probably uh, written less uh, lengthy uh, reports, but uh, that's it. Long story short, once we got in, uh, I think it was flowing very smooth. It was easy uh, to understand, to uh, kind of get situated and get everything loaded up. I had like my power scribe on one side, I had my packs on the other side. Uh, I was thrilled to join. Uh, first, I was worried that uh, I will not be able to fit into the slots because I registered a bit late, but uh, mm -hmm. it, was, it was awesome. But yeah, it was fun for me. I would very much uh, like to participate in events like that in the future. What was the most challenging thing for you? I, I think not knowing the case mix was probably the major stressor. The clock, the tick-tock. I wanted to be really fast and I I didn't um, be look very closely to the pictures actually, I, so I think I did some mistake. It's about thinking that there are 200 other people on the <laughs> Olympics <laughs> and competing with them. <laughs> yeah, one is the pressure because you are competing with uh, the uh, quite able uh, MSK radiologist and uh, you want to know where you stand. As I said, the most challenging uh, thing was uh, maybe to downsize a little bit expectation on the to get all the minor details of the mm -hmm. report. The competition, I think, uh, trying to be a bit, um, the fastest one in. Uh, normally, I don't give in to the mm -hmm. temptation of uh, yeah. time over this thing. I like to uh, go through my checklist. And... Uh, to be focused on the, on the case, um, but I think it was very normal because report uh, MRI is, is, I think I do every day. So. I think uh, managing to to use a different program that I'm not mm -hmm. used to it, uh, and it was like competition has a, the psychological aspect, you know, mm -hmm. you you get a little bit nervous, so you don't want to forget anything, or uh, yeah, and that was I think was the most difficult, you know. Probably mm, the knowledge gap that I have because in my uh, training at the university hospital I didn't have a good mentor so all my knowledge was uh, internet based <laughs> most of it uh, thanks to you it was the first case there was a lot of stuff to report couldn't figure out how to to speed uh, because I wanted to be like less than three minutes but I mm -hmm. didn't know I, I, I reached that, uh, that target. That's good. Um, did you have a specific strategy going into the tournament? My strategy was to try to, to replicate my usual uh, way of work, mm -hmm. uh, which mm -hmm. means uh, browsing through all images before starting to uh, dictate. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, in the last case, the, the, the ankle, 
I started to report from the first images. So that was, I think, better for me. We have, uh, we're actually starting a small company now. We have mm -hmm. a um, AI um, writing tool that mm -hmm. helps us to be very fast and very without any mistakes. And that's what I used. I wanted to see how it, how it um, works in, in the real world. I broke down my reporting strategy into three things for the Olympics particularly. So I said, I'll do a quick run and look at the case as I would normally within 30 seconds or something like the whole case and then do a little mini detailed view on normally how I would approach every case in a systematic way. And then I won't dictate anything during that period. And once I know about the case, I'll stop looking at the case and then go through the dictation. Yes, actually, uh, I am doing your uh, virtual MSK fellowship, and then uh, uh, the, whenever I am doing the, this Q and A sessions with you or uh, Esteban or Marlena, so you people follow a specific pattern or search pattern. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm using. So it definitely helps me that I'm not missing out major things. I did it as I always do my reports uh, by okay. standard checklist. I go. Yes. Uh, I know what, which structures I, I, I look first on which sequence. I don't use the works recognition, but uh, patterns. Uh, I have uh, pre uh, presets that are recorded and I copy paste and then, uh, and then okay. change. Obviously, when I report normally, uh, I, I do double check, but now I, I try to be just only fast, fast and fit. Okay, okay. Yeah. Only one check. I use a Dragon medical one, so mm -hmm. it really increases my reporting speed and allows me to focus more on diagnosis instead of typing, which saves a lot of time. I also learn how to use smart templates and create macros for repetitive phrases. To, to be fast and efficient is to really understand musculoskeletal really well, especially the anatomy and how different patterns of disease actually look. So. I think having a solid base makes everything easier. Yeah. I use the voice recognition to to compose my my reports, you know, and I use it yes. that. I I try to to report like I do every day, you know. So yes. you yeah. you see that my reports are complete with conclusions and yes. all, yes. all of that. Yeah, that I used your book for that <laughs> because I yeah I use the templates from the, from, mm -hmm. from the books. I usually follow your advices. Uh, I have some mantra that I go, for example, in knee, I just go middle compartment, lateral compartment, femoral patellar, fossa popliteal, and the rest, uh, and just go. Um, regarding speed, I don't think I have problem there because uh, I, I've been struggling with uh, really poor information systems and softwares uh, throughout my practice. So okay. I had to come up with some leverage how to how to overcome this problem. And um, probably what my secret ingredient for this is that I use uh, AutoHotkey application, if you heard of it. What? No. How does it work? It's a native Windows application that, uh, uh, in short, it can, it can, you can create some macros for some key binds. So what I did is that I uh, created a big dictionary of all the phrases that exist in radiology, both in both languages that I use. And uh, I just press the key binds and the whole segments of the sentence is being generated. So therefore mm -hmm. there is a great time saving option. Yeah. So how many hotkeys you have? Like Many. It's in many. thousands. Yeah, okay. Um, but you know all the combinations or is this depending on... Yeah, I try, to I try to come up with some logic, uh, so uh -huh. I don't need to remember it all. No, first I just uh, do the case and afterwards I start typing. Yeah, I think I tried to be a bit faster, but I think what helped me the most was this uh, software. I don't know if I'm at liberty to promote it, but uh, because it's not mine, but I use this AI software um that my friends designed and uh, it allows me to like upload my template and then just to dictate the positive findings and then it kind of inserts those positive findings into the whole report were there any uh, discussions between the competitors during the live stream or in between rounds or anything the most funny part was then when somebody 
told that his report was sent by while while the cat was jumping on the on the keyboard. I saw one I think one lady uh, her case got submitted because uh, her cat by, by accidentally pressed the button. What do you think? How was your performance overall? What what's your feeling? I thought um, anywhere is fine. <laughs> it took much more than I expected. Actually, I had um, with the knee, I had some technical difficulties, so I started all over again in the middle. So I was, I think actually I was twice as fast. I think I performed not so good at the shoulder MRI. I was quite confident with the with the ankle. I thought I did uh, fine in uh, shoulder and uh, ankle. I was quite confident. Knee, I knew that as after submitting that I have missed a couple of findings and I could have done better. But you used voice recognition for the Olympics. Yeah. Yes, okay. I used the AI generated uh, the same platform. The one, yes. Okay, okay, good. Interesting, yeah. Switch down. I'm not first in the ankle. No, you're not <laughs> first in the ankle, yeah. I think I did well. So And how is your impression for the shoulder and for the yeah, ankle. for the ankle? Well, the shoulder um, was a little more most difficult I think. Mm, and I I didn't recognize the classification in the pectoral, I think, mm -hmm. and the ankle, yes, it was, it was a, a frequent case, I think. And then the shoulder case, I, I told them I was in a hurry and I almost didn't see the classification in the the bicep, yeah. the, the pectoralis yeah. major, you know, and yeah. then one guy told me, yeah, the pectoralis is for thoracic, thoracic imaging, not for the <laughs> 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 I was uh, I was not expecting uh, that I was uh, yeah in the finalist. Also, you're you were one of three people who actually scored in all three joints. So most people had one disqualification. So that's I think that's a big achievement. Um, over all three disciplines, rank four for you. It was surprising actually because uh, <laughs> I, I have never been in this spot, you know, just trying to compare myself to, to the mm. to others, you know. Uh, so mm. I didn't know what to expect. I, I know I know I'm fast, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I have I've been studying for these years a lot of lots of um, techniques, you know, mm -hmm. and that's how I knew you because of your book, you know. I, I read your book before going to the YouTube channel. Uh, actually, I was quite a bit surprised that I scored in, even this high. I thought that I would be disqualified. And now let's go to the ankle. Uh, ankle, you were actually the fastest ankle report. So that's um, amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> it's really totally crazy by like by a whole two minutes. Like your time was one minute 30 seconds or one minute 29 seconds. I don't know how that's possible, to be honest. That's how does that work? I need to know more about this. Actually, what I do is I just say what I see. Mm -hmm. I just speak it out and I say there is a rupture of the data band and then the AI reads it and just writes report. I'm, I'm very glad and I'm very glad it worked. Yeah. I did um, some do some mistakes at the shoulder case. I knew that before. Um, I was not surprised about that. I'm, I'm very glad that I'm still ranked second. In the ankle, your time was three minutes and 29 seconds. So also excellent time. Your, your report was obviously qualified and this was rank two in the ankle round. So that's uh, amazing. So rank two in ankle, rank one in knee. That's uh, very, very impressive. And that also means that the overall ranking, you were the fastest radiologist over all the three disciplines. Ah, so congratulations. Great. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> really, yeah. really well done. Um, so what do you think? How do you feel? Well, I am very happy to be part of your competition and be part of your group with more colleagues around the world. So very happy to be the winner.